This week's Bet Ranch Roundup. I'm Dr. Carrie. Welcome, welcome. Um, I have a last little bird to introduce you guys to. This is Quill, aka Quill the Pill, aka Quilla Monster, because he is a beautiful turquoise variation green cheek conure, but he is a total jerk. I love him to death though. He's like a Sour Patch Kid. He's either super sweet and the lovablest little creature in the world or a total <laughs> So anyway, that's what you need to know if you're getting a green cheek conure. They can be pretty moody, pretty nippy. But I love him. Scab kiss kiss. He's acting really innocent and shy right now, but <laughs> don't believe that, right? Anywho, we have a big week this week. Definitely have to continue care on our rabbit, T-Bone. Follow up and see what's happening with him. Take some x-rays. And crazy development last week. Step up. Crazy development last week when Avery and I, my daughter, were going to her friend's house to pick her up. And then I found a dog on the side of the road that looked injured. So I stopped because I didn't want to get hit by a car or whatever. And I will show you that first thing and then we'll catch up with him this week and then go from there. Okay, you said bye-bye, you said bye-bye. Isn't he the cutest though? That's the thing. He's a real looker. Can't win them all, can you, Quill? Have a kiss, have a kiss, have a kiss. <laughs> Mom has got bit so many times. Is he hurt? I don't know. He hasn't walked around. Do you have any food in here? There we go. Hey, buddy. Poor Bubba. I'm sorry, baby. His first thick. What's stinky and skinny? Are those maggots? No, those are just uh, burrs, like sticker, sticker burrs. burrs. They look like baby maggots, so. <laughs> what the heck? Dude, just. Go in there, baby. Why do you eat that? It's a medicine for you. Mmm. So you don't have fleas or ticks? What do you think? Hmm? Oh, he likes dry food, but not. Like, so he just, just like exhausted. He ate his food. He walked around outside. He let me pet him. He doesn't show any sign of like getting sketchy. Oh, oh, oh God. God. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Everything's you like him being in here today? I'm so tired. Are you so tired today? It's a go. Yeah, it's a good boy. Okay, this is Scar. Carrie and my daughter found him on the side of the road, rescued him last night, dropped him off. Carrie's off today, so here we are, April behind the camera. April! Hey, hey, hey! Me and April actually decided to name this guy Scar because he walks and he talks and he just moves and doesn't care much, just like Scar. So what we're gonna do is actually get him a bath today, get him vaccinated, heart room tested, and go from there. So I actually have his vaccines and um, <clears throat> a little syringe. We're gonna take some blood from him. Hopefully he'll be heartworm negative and uh, hopefully he'll be good for his bath. I don't think he'll really care because so far he hasn't cared about anything. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get him vaccinated and get him bathed. He's so, just so unimpressed. Yeah, he's just kind of just hanging out. Here, he says, what was that? Left here. He says, what was that? He doesn't care about anything. He doesn't care about an intranasal vaccine. A little. Emotion. Did he show emotion? <laughs> I'm sorry. He cared about that. <laughs> okay, he got him vaccinated.
he's just so happy to be inside in the AC. He could care less if he's in a cage. We're gonna sedate our little bunny today. Continue. <laughs> Why did you freeze up? I didn't know you were behind We're me. We're gonna sedate our little bunny today and change the splint and re-X-ray. And Dobby's gonna be quiet while we do all of that. Not at all. Poor bun. <laughs> it doesn't look wonderful we are starting some new kind of bone formation here so we're just gonna keep at it re-splint again today i wouldn't think we need x-ray again for a couple weeks but we may x-ray again next week just to make sure we're making progress but not bad for one week and i'm amazed at how well he's tolerating the splint So I went ahead and ordered her, her own walking pet boot. So thank you guys. What we're trying to do, because she can use this leg, the muscles really atrophied, and then this knuckles over and she'll just stand on it like that. So we're trying to kind of get that stretched back out and make it where she will put more weight on this leg. So I did this yesterday by myself. And let me just say, it's not easy. She's sweet, but she's a leg worm. Lolly, you're not helping anything. It's hard to put it on. I just undid what I just oh did. Oh my gosh. What? I'm trying. If anybody wants to give us any tips, I mean, we all know y'all have to give tips in the comments, so just come on with it. Slow down. If you go slow, you'll put weight on it. Good. What is Lolly doing? Lolly. What is that she's rolling on? It's a, it's a seed ball from the bird. She's getting her smell. Oh, here, sorry, I didn't mean to take that away. Okay, she gotta go. Where are you going? Lolly? What are you doing with that? It's just seeds. It's like, it's my It's almost like attached to his scapular spine. It's really hard. We have x-rays of him. We were watching it to see what it does, but we decided it probably needs to go ahead and be removed. So Dr. Robin's gonna do that today. Good job. Let's go look at the x-rays and then get started. Oh, she's shaped Wooby. It's his favorite thing in the world. Favorite thing, favorite, favorite. Oh, yes, yes. Ready? Let's go back in. 
Okay, these are Chai's babies. I feel like this baby weighs as much as Chai. Don't you? <laughs> no. That's the smallest of them all, too. I've got names they here. They smell good. I think they are all girls. That's so what Lee cute. said. Female. You like microchip? Oh, no. No. What's this? This is oolong. This one's 1.1. So this is the smallest so far. Oh, you're little. Female. Trying not to like jab it all the way to your brain, but that's not an option. Picture. Be the back of the neck. This no. is the nape between the shoulder blades. The nape is not between the shoulder blades. This is the nape. This is between the shoulder blades. No way. No way. Betty. I lost one. Oh, I lost. Oh my god. <laughs> come here. Come here. Oh. Hi. It's okay. You did it. She's a little runaway. Hi, Biscuits. Hi, Biscuits. That's cute. 1.35. People will always be greeting her. It's like, what is, hi, Biscuit. Oh, that's what's What is this, Tabby? <laughs> You're not, you can stop it in two tanks. Why? This is how we get the bloopers. This is how we get the good stuff. Oh, I should have worn makeup today. Doing <laughs> close ups. You're never doing this again. How cute. Why? This is the greatest. Oh it's gosh. a documentary. Stop. I was like, it's gonna be from far away, and like, I'm not gonna do my makeup. What do you guys think? Who's the best photographer? The tripod or me? Okay. Well, first of all, you don't here don't are the, the wild. If you don't want cats, kind of babies. This is the bluebird. Hi. Hi. This is yeah. our life. There's kittens everywhere. Get back here. 0.25. Female. And female. Darker brown tag. <laughs> just replaced the splint a few days ago and this little girlfriend said I'm over it and took it off <laughs> so we're gonna retake x-rays and see what it looks like you don't deserve that no Dee Dee is rocking out so much improvement from last week the second one is almost completely healed and the first one looks like it's bridged and close to being healed so we're just gonna leave off that splint i guess she made the decision for us but it looks pretty good and she's bearing weight on it too kittens are amazing at healing we have dobby here everybody everybody dobby Hi. dobby was pulled from the shelter this morning i believe the shelter contacted dr carrie today it's her day off so we're, we're filling in he was pulled from the shelter and a volunteer brought him here and he is here because his butthole fell out gross you're embarrassing him okay okay but he's here and he's actually a young dog his little bitty pup has all his baby teeth there and he's a little bit pale and we've actually already ran a parasite screen on him that's the first thing we did when he had a little sample come out and he has a lot of hookworms and roundworms and that actually diarrhea from those things is the number one reason that we see rectal prolapses in these guys so what we're going to do sedate him uh, hopefully get it back in. We may have to lube it up and put some ice on it. There's some techniques. Hopefully we can get it back in and put a suture around that so it doesn't happen again. Address the prim primary cause, which is the parasites and diarrhea and uh, getting vaccinated and just really just caught up in life. <laughs> get your butthole back in and get caught up yeah, in life. Yeah, buddy. Look at him, poor Dobby. Yeah. Look at his ears. It is a Dobby. Oh, my oh my goodness. Hi, Dobby. Yeah. He's so cute. 
All right, let's go. Dobby is sedate here, and here is his rectum. We've lubed it up, and we're gonna try to squeeze it back in. I kind of try to put it back opposite order that it came out. It's difficult to show you what's going on, but we are making some progress here. Come on, buddy, there we go. Okay, <clears throat> so we got that rectum back in, and I think it's ironed out how it should be. And so now we're gonna put a purse string around his rectum and tie it so it won't dilate again and pop out. That gives that time, <clears throat> that rectum time to calm down because it's pretty inflamed, uh, you know, edematous there. <clears throat> so we get it back in and hopefully that'll calm down so it won't come back out. And we're also addressing his diarrhea issues at that same time. What I've done there is just wrap that suture in the tissue there right around. So just like a duffel bag or drawstring, we're gonna pull that close. Obviously, we're gonna leave a little hole there so he can still poop. It's always tricky because you don't wanna do these too tight, but you certainly don't wanna do them too loose because then we gotta sedate them again and fix it. And I think that is hopefully our sweet spot there. Okay, so here's what we got. We put that back in, put that purse string. There's our suture, just wraps around there. I think he can still be able to poop. So we're just gonna monitor that, make sure he's pooping, wake him up. We actually have some vaccines to give him. And we're gonna start him on some GI medications as well, along with the dewormer. There we go. Dobby's gonna be back in action in no time. Where to tell? All right, we're rechecking the purse string suture that Dr. Judd put in. He's definitely able to poop fine because he poops all over his panel. <laughs> he is a problem child. He's sweet. He just never stops a barking. He's looking for attention, huh? Yeah, you look for attention. Some kisses. Kisses and kisses. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's normal now. And which shirt hopefully stays in. I think it will. Here's a little cutie that we got in. I have a better video of it from yesterday. She was he, she, I don't even know yet, but we call him noun to match with verb. Was found in a row that was being tarred. Got tar on the eye and then tar all in the hair and on the skin. So check and see how that eye is doing today. Yesterday would not open it at all. Hi. Very scared. Definitely has not been handled. Yesterday we went ahead and gave some antibiotics, some really good pain meds. Are you purring? Oh wow. Cute kitty. It's on top of the head. <laughs> Sheila. You're not helping me. I'm going to add some eye drops to the regimen and then we're just going to keep watching this kiddo who is loving this life living in a warm little box with a cush blanket better than being a feral cat huh see i'm not too feral i'm just a keep oh wow you're purring every single day this little friend is braver and stronger hey kikiti look how good you're doing hi kiki kikiti She taught another dog how to eat grass yesterday. Aww. Aurora! You need to go out? You want to go for a walk with her and go outside to go potty? Come on, let's see how that goes. Let's go outside.
because I needed to see her one more time. She is finally going into forever home now to live on a small farm and have places to run and play. So we are so happy for her. She's been eating Cheerios, so her face is messy. Say bye-bye, Sheila. I miss you. I miss you. Say bye-bye, Sheila. Bye-bye, all right, that was a little too dramatic for the week that we had. It hasn't been crazy, but here's to another successful week rescuing animals here at Vet Ranch. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Thanks for watching our videos and sharing. For the people that love Roundup, thank you so much for your awesome comments. And if you donate, we could not do this without you guys. Consider subscribing to our channel, please, and share our videos so we can get lots more subscribers and spread the word. And we will see you guys next week. Bye.